only one person can get you out of depression, and that is you. It's all in your head. It's all in your head. Oh no, I'm holding you accountable for your own feelings. Oh, why do I do this to myself? I know every single argument that people are gonna throw at me about how depression is so hard and you can't just beat it and you can't just get over it. What's up everybody? This is Chris from The Rewired Soul where we talk about the problem but focus on the solution. And today's problem is Nicole Arbor. I saw this video getting shared in one of my uh, mental health so, uh, support groups that I'm a part of to kind of, uh, you know, do the things I do on The Rewired Soul, but I help give other people suggestions who are struggling with anxiety and depression and other symptoms of mental illness. And somebody shared this, and this depression shaming just blew my mind, but I'm actually not all that surprised because some of you might think that she looks familiar like I did, and not long ago she blew up because she made a fat shaming video. All right, now I wanna make very clear, I wanna make very clear, just in case some of Nicole Arbor's fans show up on here, like, I think she's onto something, but she's doing it in a very poor way. And it's because she's not educated very well, all right? So, the first thing that we have to do, the first thing that we have to do when we're receiving any type of information is check in with the source. Who is the source who is relaying this information? Because the problem is, is that you can't just be a charismatic person doing a bunch of jump cuts all over the place and then people say, oh, you know what? I think this person's onto something, all right? Like, we're seeing it, we're seeing it right now in, in politics, you know? Donald Trump's the president. We've heard of people like Mark Zuckerberg and The Rock saying that they're gonna run for president. Oprah Winfrey made a speech and they're like, oh, that should be president. Like, just because a lot of people are hearing you doesn't mean that you're saying the proper information, all right? But anyways, Oprah's kind of dope, Oprah 2020. Anyways, let's jump into this. So first, first, let's do this. When Nicole Arbor is talking about how depression is all in your head, which no duh, let's take a look at Nicole Arbor's credentials real quick. So what I have done is I have pulled up Nicole Arbor's Facebook page, her Facebook fan page. All right, so first off, and no, this isn't any kind of shaming or anything, but first, I'm gonna take a look at this and say, is this, just looking at the picture, is this somebody who I wanna get my mental health advice from, right? Like, let's, let's put it in these terms. Am I gonna go to the grocery store and ask the person in the produce aisle how to fix my car? Probably not. I gotta check the source of where I'm getting this information, but maybe I'm wrong. Let's check in. Let's see what kind of credentials Miss Nicole Arbor has. So here is her biography. Now let's see. I'm a comedian, because people laugh at me. I'm a recording artist, because I spit fire like a witty dragon. I'm a writer, because words fall out. I'm a model, because I find it hilarious and absurd. Beauty is subjective, yo. I'm a choreographer, because I see music. I'm a dancer, because music and so, uh, because music said so. I'm your new best friend, because we're both awesome. I'm a YouTuber, because I love making things. And I'm a cheerleader for life, because it's the best way to be. Hashtag, go team. So, looking at her credentials, I don't see anything, anything that says that she is any kind of health professional. Depression is a chemical imbalance in your head. You can't just fix it. So, the fact that her video is getting millions of views and a ton of shares is kind of strange. Like, why is anybody taking mental health advice from this woman? I, I, went, I went some, I did some digging, I did some investigation, and uh, it looks like Nicole Arbor struggled with depression, and I feel for her. This time, about three years ago, I sat trying to figure out how to commit suicide in a way that it would least affect my family and friends moving forward. That was my plan, I was done. And anyone who's ever been in chronic pain understands that you get to a point where it's not even you anymore, you just wanna make it stop. Now. Her depression came from a car accident that gave her chronic pain, chronic pain. And that can put you into a depression, okay? And that's for different reasons. And she talks about how chemicals in your brain are constantly changing, agreed. But her depression was not a biological issue. 
it's it's almost like when I've talked about the different risk factors for addiction. Some people are genetically predisposed and other people develop an addiction. Same thing with depression. Some people are genetically predisposed to depression and other people develop a depression. Nicole Arbor's depression developed because of a car accident. And I get it, like she got out of her depression and she tries to motivate people. And like, trust me, you can check out the other video I did when um, I was reviewing Neil Brennan's uh, comedy special where he talks about depression. And I even tried to hold all of you accountable out there too. Like you have to put in work. The problem is, is the way that Nicole Arbor is portraying that message is depression shaming. It is shaming people with mental illness. It is not just a button that people can flip and quit being depressed, okay? One of the biggest issues with people with depression that um, is, the, is the hardest hardest hurdle to overcome is motivation. Exercise! Go to the gym, go to a dance class, get out walking, just keep it moving. I swear you will feel happier. Like, I get it, yeah, get up, go out, go for a walk, do these activities that um, increase dopamine and serotonin and all these other ne uh, neurotransmitters in your brain. Go do those, but it's, it's getting that engine started. Okay, she has this to say about antidepressants. When I was on antidepressants, I just felt like a robot who was now functioning versus a robot that was frozen. Okay, Nicole, if you see this, let me explain this to you, okay? Different medications have different side effects. Not only do different medications have different side effects, but different people react to medications differently. So I'm not sure what they put you on that made you zombied out, but for many people, these antidepressants do not do that. They might have put you on something really strong. They might have even put you on some kind of tranquilizer too. So that's something that you have to take into consideration. Not only does it depend on the medication, which are dozens of antidepressants, but it also depends on how your body reacts to them. I know plenty of people who take antidepressants regularly. I'm one of them. And do I look like I'm all zombied out? No, I don't. Do you see this smile on my face? Something's working, all right? And the other thing is she mentions like, these, these pills aren't just happy pills. I've done another video about antidepressants and that's a common misconception about these medications is that they are happy pills. That's not how they work. These medications work in a couple different ways. So when she keeps saying, it's all in your head, I know it's all in your head, but some brains have a problem creating certain neurotransmitters. So some of these medications actually help the brain to produce these neurotransmitters. In other cases, these neurotransmitters have to attach to each other to create more. Any of you familiar with neuroscience have heard, neurons that fire together, wire together. So when they wire together, people, some people with depression do not have the, uh, the neurotransmitters that stick to each other. So there are certain medications that make these neurotransmitters stickier so they can stick together and reproduce more. So what these medications are trying to do is get you to a base level to increase that motivation so you can start doing more work on your own. So um, these medications may not fix you, but they're a good starting point just to get you out of bed in the morning, just to get you to take a shower, just to give you the motivation to go to the gym, to go live your life and create more neurotransmitters. That's what these are there for. I have a lot to say about this, but here's the problem with the world today. Here's the problem with living in a time where the internet is so easily accessed, okay? and. Neil deGrasse Tyson actually said it best. This clip that you're about to watch is from one of my favorite YouTube series called Hot Ones. The internet has turned, turned the world into a place where you can do a quick Google search and you can find at least one other person on the planet to agree with the insane idea you have that has absolutely no scientific backing. And Nicole, I'm very sorry, but you're not allowed to just use the words like scientific studies say. It was proven at Harvard that only 10% of our long-term happiness has anything to do with external factors. That only this much of your happiness is based on this. You can't just say that without providing sources. Like, I talked about this in my Prince EA versus Boy in a Band um, video. Like, you can't just go around saying that scientific studies say certain things without providing sources because after she said that, I spent about an hour researching this and I couldn't find one study that said that. 
So that's the problem with all of this stuff going viral and spreading is that ignorance breeds more ignorance and then people think that it's the word of truth when there's actually no backing for it. All right, so I know Nicole Arbor is trying to come from a motivational, good place, but she did a very, very, very poor job of it. All right, but if you retained some information, if I helped you understand depression a little bit more, do me a big favor and give this video a thumbs up. But while you're here, leave a comment down below. I wanna hear what your thoughts were on the Nicole Arbor depression video, okay? But anyways, Thank you so much for watching. If you're new here, I'm always doing videos about mental health. So make sure that you click the little round subscribe button. And if you wanna check out some of the other videos on my channel, check out the info card, but also click or tap on one of those thumbnails right there. Ton of good stuff, all right? But again, thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time.